Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support and today I'm going to show you how to clean the capping station on your Rico sublimation systems. And this would include the Rico GX7000, the Rico GX5050, and your Rico GX3300. The sublimation systems uh, for the Rico have a capping station that's located to the right inside your printer. And occasionally as a preventive maintenance we want to clean that. That would be about once every six months, every three months, based on how often you print. And the tools that you're going to need is going to be something that uh, when we lift the top of the printer door here, uh, we want to be able to trick the sensor into thinking that the door is open. So I'm going to suggest something uh, very flat. I'm using, uh, it's kind of like a flat screwdriver type uh, multitask rent uh, hand tool here. And so we're going to use that. I also have a syringe, which I'm going to include. Um, uh, I want to put my solution in, my cleaning solution. And the cleaning solution that I'm going to use today is the Epson um, uh, printhead repair liquid, which is very similar to alcohol that Epson uh, uses. But you can use uh, simple green, diluted 50-50 with water. You can use alcohol. You can also, in place of your syringe, you could use a spray bottle. And all we're going to do is, uh, with that is just saturate the area. So even at that, you don't need much of a chemical. Um, so we'll just uh, get started. So first thing we want to do is I want to demonstrate to you how to trick the printer into thinking that the door is open uh, so that we can turn this on and get the print head moved over so we can work. So what we want to do is raise the top cover of the printer. And this would work for all your GX. Uh, your, should I say your Rico printers, okay? So make sure you know that this switch would be located in the same place on all printers. Uh, now my tool, which is a little handy dandy uh, screwdriver kit tool, whatever you want to call it, is heavy enough, the weight itself will make the sensor. And I can just set it in there and uh, let it uh, rest there and that makes the switch. Um, at this point, I'm ready to uh, turn the printer on and you're going to see that the head will move over uh, slow enough and you want to position yourself where you can pull the power cord from behind the printer or it may be easier for you to pull the power cord um, from the other side. However you want to pull it, the main thing is is that uh, you know it, it will move slow enough over so that you can uh, pull it in time and as you see it's moving slow enough over and I pulled the plug just before it reached the far right and now we have plenty of room to get in there with our hands and our cleaner and our spray uh, it's a tight area but we have enough room to work to get to uh, the capping station All right, this is your capping station this black box and inside the capping station you've got two what we'll call um, platforms. And those platforms around the edges look like and perform like a squeegee. Um, the one feathers back, this one here, the white one, uh, we just want to clean that, uh, that area off. There's nothing inside. It's just kind of, um, it's just like a little pan in here. So you'll just spray it with your solution or your syringe with your cleaner in it and you're going to just clean the area. Now this front one here, the, the red one, uh, you may not be able to see it well, but let me just tell you a little bit about it. Inside here is like a sponge. Um, I will call it a sponge. But what it does is below it is where um, is how your, your pump works. It has tubes and, and it pulls and primes the ink. So this is a real important pad and uh, we want to be sure we clean it. And how we'll do that is we'll use the chemical which is, you know, your alcohol or your, um, um, your simple green with water, 50-50 water, or simple green. Or you can take a spray and just, just uh, saturate this area. And that will be enough once it soaks to, to clean and or do a thorough cleaning. You could even saturate it a couple, three times in intervals of, you know, like every 15 minutes. But this is the area you want to clean. So let me show you how to do that. I have a syringe. You can use a spray bottle. And if you get 
you know, you want to be careful not to, you know, over wet this area because you'll cause the condensation error, error that we talked about in an earlier video, uh, which you may get again. And if you get the condensation error after you're cleaning, that's okay. Go watch my condensation video. I'll show you how to clean that too. But moving on, uh, we want to take the syringe with, with the cleaning solution and as best you can, if it's a spray bottle, whatever you have, uh, you're going to saturate these areas. Okay? So make sure that uh, you get on the sponge as best you can saturating that area. And what that's going to do is start um, letting that uh, substance soak into that sponge like it's going to seep down into the tubing and, and when you turn the printer on and it starts to prime again it's actually going to pull some of that solution in. But if it soaks there for 10-15 minutes that's fine. Now anything that runs over you can take an absorbent like a pad, uh, paper towel, anything that would absorb that um, um, you know to dry it up in areas where you don't want it. Uh, you'd certainly want to absorb that up. But I would let that sit for about five or ten minutes. Maybe if you want to, if you want to give it a real thorough cleaning, come back and do it again in 15 minutes. But the, the point of this cleaning is it's a preventive maintenance and you, um, you want to do it about once every six months. If you use your printer a lot, you might want to do it every three months. And um, if you decide to wipe up some of this, uh, just take a towel and just dab it, that's fine. Be careful not to uh, you know, be rough with it. You got other things in there you don't want to, uh, you know, you, you don't want this chemical to get on, but I think it'd be all right if uh, anywhere around this black box, if you keep your solution in there, you should be fine. And that's how you would uh, get the solution to your capping station. Again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and we've just demonstrated how to clean your capping station on your GX7000, your GX5050, and your GX3300. If you have any questions on this procedure, you can call us here at Condi at 1-800-826-6332. Anyone in tech support should be able to help you with this. Look us up on Condi.com or tune in to our Condi TV to see other videos for tech support issues. Thank you for your time.